My name is Dr. Razia Kosar and uh, I'm from Department of Anatomy, University of Agriculture, Faisalabad. And the topic of my today's presentation is age-related cross morphometrical and histomorphometrical changes in the pineal gland and plasma melatonin profile in beetle goats during breeding food. So this here is the outline of the, my presentation. So first of all, introduction. Uh, the mammalian pineal gland, uh, which is an integral part of the brain and anatomically it is situated in the medial depression, which is formed between the two telomeres and colliculi of carpora quadri gemina posteriorly. So this is the exact location of the pineal glands and they act as a neuroendocrine transducer and receives the external stimuli from retina of the eye and circadian rhythms from suprachiasmatic nuclei. And then they transform both of them into the hormonal response in the form of melatonin and melatonin which plays an important role in the reproductive activity in seasonal breeders. So here is the schematic diagram showing the complete mechanism for the synthesis of melatonin from the pineal gland. Now the objectives of the my study is to evaluate the gross morphological and histological changes in the pineal gland in relation to age and plasma melatonin profile. Uh, for the, uh, this experiment, total of 24 healthy female goat, beetle goats were selected from the local laboratory of Faisalabad. Their health parameters were also checked uh, before slaughtering and they are divided into three age groups, pre-pubertal, pubertal and post-pubertal groups. And the age of the animals were estimated by dentition and before slaughtering, 10 animal blood was collected. In the vacuum trainers and after slaughtering, heads of the animals were collected for the collection of the pineal glands from the brain. For the gross anatomical measurements, weight of the pineal glands, length, thickness, and volume were recorded. And uh, for this stereological procedure, which is called Cavillary's direct estimator method, it is used for the calculation of the volume. And for the light microscopic studies, Tissues of the pineal gland were fixed in the solution of 10% buffer, a neutral buffer formalin, and then further processed by the routine tissue paraffin technique. We also uh, preserve the tissues in the bovine solution also. So we run two uh, parallel uh, with the different two different fixatives. And the section of five uh, micrometer thickness taken with the help of rotary semi-automatic microtome and staining was done with hematoxin and aerosin. And one CUSA stain is also uh, used for the determination of calcium deposits in the form of brain sand. And histomorphometry was done with the help of image J analysis software. Blood samples were centrifuged to collect plasma and then hormonal analysis was done by using the commercially available goat melatonin ELISA kit. One way analysis of variance under factorial design using the descriptive statistics software statistics was used and for the significance of the test, which is measured by Techies Honest Test. Now, results, the, first of all, location and the uh, shape of the pineal gland, there was over to roughly triangular, pine cone-shaped organs, and they are located in the medial depression formed between the two thalami, and the color of the gland was pink in pre-pubertal and pubertal groups, and it was pink in color, while in post-pubertal animals, it was light pink to white in color. And the significant difference was found <clears throat> in the length of the gland, and it is found highest in the post-pubertal uh, post group and lowest in the pre-pubertal group. And the mean thickness of the pineal gland in three groups, and it is highest, uh, it is the non-significant difference was found in the thickness of the gland. The mean volume of uh, Pubertal group was significantly greater than that of pre-pubertal group, 
and significantly lower than that of the post pubertal group and the pineal gland was covered by the thin tunic of fibrous connective tissue capsule which penetrates into the parenchyma of the gland and partially divides it into, into the lobules now the parenchyma of the gland consists of various types of cells pinealocytes and sportive glial cells or astrocytes now this is its the histomorphometrical image now you can see these are the pineal glands and um, astrocytes. The brain sand also called as carpora alinacea. Uh, actually, carpora alinacea is the deposits of the calcium in the blood vessels. You can see this is the carpora alinacea, which was also found scattered among the parenchymal cells of the gland. Uh, parenchymal percentage in different age groups was found. Uh, it is uh, highest in prepubertal group which is followed by a pubertal and um, significantly lower in post-pubertal group. Now the pinealocytes were abundant while the astrocytes were scared <coughs> scare in number. The brain sand also called, which is called the carporadinacea, it is the deposits of the calcium and they are found among, scattered among the parenchyma cells of the gland and the parenchymal percentage in different age groups were found highest in prepubertal group. Uh, the parent camel cell percentage was significantly different among the age groups, which was highest in pre-pubertal group and lowest in post-pubertal group. And the mean values for area of corrective tissue in pineal gland of pre-pubertal, pubertal and post-pubertal groups are, and it is highest in pubertal. And the mean percentage of connective tissue of pubertal group was significantly higher than that of the pre-pubertal group. And the percentage area, percentage area of the blood vessels, it was highest in pre-pubertal group and lowest in post-pubertal group. And number of pinealocytes in pre-pubertal group and post-pubertal groups were uh, 4.8, 7.8, and 7.28. Uh, this is the graph showing the percentage and these are the different parameters like parenchyma, connective tissue, brain sand and blood vessels and uh, different graph bars show the pre-pubertal, pubertal and post-pubertal and you can see that the parenchyma is highest in pubertal, pre-pubertal and the connective tissue is highest in the post-pubertal group and the brain sand is also highest in the post-pubertal group and blood vessels they are highest in pre-pubertal groups. So these are the different uh, histomorphographs uh, with the help of, uh, uh, they are stained with the hematoxin and leucine and one pusa showing the light microscopic structure of the pineal gland. Uh, different uh, pinealocytes, glial cells and blood vessels, we can see the connective tissue and then uh, a carpora, uh, Alinacea and the mean percentage of brand sand area in yeah, already I have told you in the graph. So there is no need to repeat it. Uh, this slide is also described in the graph. Now uh, at the end we conclude that the age affects the gross and post histomorphology of the pineal gland and age also affects plasma melatonin level. And ultimately, it affects the physiology of the body, especially the reproductive physiology in seasonally breeding species. These are the references. And thank you so much. Be kind to your mind.